Okay, so um, here we have a photo, um, and this basically is a book, it's a profile. Um, it was a series of black folk profiles done by this um, author, Verna Wilkins, um, of people of different professions. So um, it, it's, a, it's for children, it's a, it's a children's book. And um, yeah, I was, I was excited to be, to be um, part of that. They had Benjamin Zephaniah and, um, oh gosh, the other name was right on the tip of my tongue, but I was in good company. So it was, it was just nice to be selected to be part of that. Uh, and, and the reason that she heard of me, because at this time I was still very junior in my training, was that I was profiling another book called um, um, Story, oh, Millennium People, Stories of Success by John Ferguson. Oh, was it a black and white book? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So I was profiling that. And, um, and the reason that I was profiling that was um, I knew someone at the time who was a TV person. I think that's really bad because the name has gone from my head. It was um, someone I had met when I was a student. And, 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 and he had felt, because he recognized that it was a surgical specialty that, that didn't have many women and there I was as a black woman coming through because I hadn't qualified as yet, I hadn't become a consultant. Um, and he said, listen, I think this girl's going to be someone interesting you should talk to. And, I, and that's how Verna contacted me. So that's the story behind that. Mm -hmm. And apparently it became a part of the curriculum for, you know, for Are schools. You? So you've used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, that's it. Uh, Mal 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 Mallory Blackman? Yeah, Mallory Blackman. Yeah, and Benjamin Zephaniah, they were also profiled. So that's that one. The cricket team. Wow. I mean, growing up back in the day, cricket was, I mean, this was it. We didn't have football and basketball. It was cricket in the Caribbean. And as a child growing up, uh, this is what we did. This is what we did. We went outside and we played cricket. Uh, it, you know, might be hopscotch and some other games, but prim primarily we played cricket. And we'd fashion, get a bit of wood and fashion out the, the, the bat. And then the way we'd make a cricket ball is a fruit called an awara which is like a, an orange colored fruit. It's actually from the palm tree, okay. the, the fruit from the palm tree. And it had a big black seed. And we would sort of uh, get the seed and then wrap rubber bands around it and make it bigger and bigger. And that was a cricket ball. And that's generally what kids did when we, when we were growing up. Um, apart from that, I didn't really understand much about cricket. I, didn't, I wasn't an avid you know, follower of cricket, but this is something that my father and his friends, they spent a lot of time talking about. So that, that's all I can say about cricket. I'll come to some of these. Pepper pot, absolutely love it. Um, it's a dish which is made by um, cooking meat with spices in something called kazarip. The kazarip is a juice of the cassava, um, which has been boiled down. And I don't even know how kazarip is made. Actually, I should really know. But it actually ferments the meat. It preserves the meat, I should say. And it's a dish that's commonly um, served at Christmas time and um, it gets better as it ages and the kazarip although used primarily for making a pepper pot can be used to season your your, your food and, and so on um, so it can be used for other things but it's a fabulous dish uh, best to get some nice bread and soak up all the juices mm, yum <laughs> um eddie grant eddie grant a famous guyanese musician who hails from pleasance in guyana and pleasance is where my father um, comes from, uh, and I think it might be some distant connection with, with uh, Eddie Grant. There may be some distant connection with him. Uh, I've never met the man. Thinks he, I think he's great, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, coming through. Letitia Wright um, thoroughly enjoyed Black Panther. Found out that she was part Guyanese, but why am I surprised? Guyanese people rule. <laughs> well, what is it, what is it about... Guyanese people, especially in like I don't know. This is all Guyanese people have got, got being high up. Yeah, a lot. yeah. Even like I know, I, it's a it's a distant claim, but yeah. even Rihanna is half Guyanese. That's it. Yeah, that's so right. That's right. Like, I don't know something in the water. Something in the water. I mean, that's what they talk about the Guyanese mafia in the UK, <laughs> because you know you got we got Barinos Amos. Uh, I, I'm gonna feel bad now because half the names I'm not gonna remember. But but you know, at the end of the day, but I heard the the first black mayor in England was Guyanese. You okay. telling me the first black head teacher was a Guyanese. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what it is. But but back in the day, you know, in the Caribbean, Guyana was the sort of center for education and, and I think it was the center of the Caribbean, it was a hub, it was where everything took place. 
And um, the education system is superb. I know when I first came here, they, they, they wanted to move me up a, fur, of, of a, a class because, you know, the education was so good. I, I, don't, I don't know why that was different to the rest of the Caribbean. I can't, I can't speak for it. I don't know. But certainly, Guyanese people seem to have... That, that whole work ethic was, was, was drilled into us from a very early age. And I'm surprised that, that that's different from the rest of the Caribbean. Maybe it's just a numbers thing. Maybe we just, we just had more people at the time. Mm. No, now that's not the case. Guyana's got very few people. We've only got about 800,000 people compared to a couple of million in Trinidad, little Trinidad, you know? Mm. Um, so I, I don't know the reason, but, um, you know, not surprised whenever I hear Guyanese people. <laughs> we, we tend to be very... Um, very ambitious and uh, high work ethic. I'm not really uh, highly into Guyanese politics, but we've got Chetty Jagan here and Lyndon Forbes Sampson Burnham. This was a guy who was president when I was growing up as a child, um, preceded by uh, Jagan. And unfortunately, the legacy of what happened between these two, who were friends initially, but then, you know, um, formed separate parties, uh, it still carries on today where the most political party, but well, the two main political parties are primarily uh, separated by race rather than policies. And unfortunately, there's still a lot of tension between blacks and black, Afro-Caribbean and, and uh, Asian uh, indo Guyanese, And um, that needs to stop. Mm -hmm. We need to move forward. For the success of Guyana, we need to move forward. We are one people, and we need to work together. That's all I can say on that one. Mm -hmm. Um, this well, this wonderful man, Walter Rodney. I'm ashamed because I should really know the you know the groundings of my brothers. He's written some wonderful articles, um, and he is someone who is revered in Guyana. Um, I would like to say that I've read all his works. I think I should I should learn and, and read more actually. Um, but but this guy he mentioned his name in Guyana, and he's yeah highly thought of. Um, we've got a photo here. I'm just learning something new. This lady here apparently was the first black head teacher in Guyana. What's her name again? Beryl Gilroy, first black head teacher in London. In London, yeah. Beryl Gilroy. That's a new one for me. I'm going to have to learn more about her. That's and this, one, this here is Stabrook Market, um, one of the famous landmarks in Guyana. Um, what, what else can I say? A hub bub of activity. Um, I think what was Georgetown, when you see Georgetown now and mm -hmm. compare it to when you were growing up, is it the same or is it a better place? Or is it, is it, 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 I think it's, this development takes place all the time. I think it's, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. there's, there's been, certainly with this recent government, a big effort to clean up the streets. Because mm -hmm. for, for a long time, things were really, we struggled. We, we, when, when you went to, to different islands, like for instance you'd be in Barbados or Trinidad and you came to Guyana, you'd feel like the, the, the lesser cousin, you know? And then hearing the stories of when my parents were younger, when Guyana was the place where all the people came to, you know? Um, so I, I, it, it was sad to see the decline. Uh, but, but that has changed, and there's a lot of restoration work taking place in lots of these different buildings and so on. Um, and now that there's a lot of excitement, Guyana has found oil, um, hopefully some of that oil money will trickle down and get t to the people rather than in the hands of the politicians and, and continue to develop the country. Yeah. All right. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Um, finished and thank you for your time. Bye.